Hi, Diana. Thanks. And this is a good day for people living in homes near these pipes. You can see that there's some still out here. The majority of them have been removed. So we have been getting results, but we still have got some work to do. with flatbeds hauled away large drainage pipes from behind homes in the Heatherwood subdivision in Chesterfield Township Tuesday. The pipes have posed a danger to residents here for the past six years, say people like Glenn Quick. I'm very glad that there's progress being made. You know, um, my daughter Maddie is just fine. Quick's 10-year-old daughter Maddie was recently playing on the pipes when she got stuck between two of them for over three hours. She's still recovering from the effects of frostbite on her stomach. She's been asked by the doctors to wear a one-piece bathing suit because she's not supposed to have it exposed for six months, so we'll see how that goes. Maddie's accident put pressure on Chesterfield Township to do something about the pipes because it gained so much attention. It's been, you know, through Channel 7. Uh, certainly, I think uh, with with people calling on other people, I'm, I'm sure that can only but help the um, um, situation. It's a situation that's still developing. After several calls from Channel 7, the Anchor Bay School District agreed to remove the pipes on their property, which is more than half. A district spokesperson says the rest of the pipes sit on property owned by a developer called Soren Associates. We contacted the Clinton Township developer who blamed Fifth Third Bank, saying the bank foreclosed on them two years ago. So it's the bank's responsibility now. The best and final result of having all of those removed so what our family went through doesn't happen to anybody else is, is the most desired result. It's the result we're trying to get out here. We left several messages today for Fifth Third Bank. They have not returned our calls yet, just yet. So this is something we're still working on out here, and hopefully we can get this resolved, especially because there's no fence around these pipes. So, of course, anybody still has access to them. For now, we're live in Chesterfield Township. Julie Bonovich, Channel 7, Action News. All right, Julie, thank you very much.